someone later. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, so we have our paper. And as usually we start to decide how big is our drawing. Yeah, in this case, for example, it's good to decide first the width. Yes, so, and usually it's like, is it a face? You leave in front of face, you leave more space than you leave behind. Yeah, it's just like, cause he's looking space, so it should be a bit more. So I decide here Let's say somewhere here, yeah, and in the back maybe more a little, yeah. So I just like take two lines and decide how how big is my school, yeah. And um, so what I do later, then I take this width. So just like this with pencil, you put your pencil and you mark with the finger how, how big is your line, yeah. And then if I take a look on, on like, let's say it's a, it's a real school, your drawing or picture, you, you see where is your width yeah, going. So it's going more or less where like this, um, the head keeps turn, turning. So I can take this size, then I can, let's say, I don't know, mark maybe somewhere here and then I can mark, so I can mark, I'm marking like a square this size, yeah? But then I remember that on top, I still have some, the head is going, yeah? So, and in case, in case I've marked like maybe too high, yeah? And little space on top, I can move, then I can move, let's say, lower in the paper. So this is all setting the drawing on the paper, yeah? How, how it, uh, how it looks. Yeah. And, and then we proceed with the same, then you kind of try to find uh, dimensions. Yeah, let's say I take dimension where this big shade starts and it's kind of half of the face. Yeah, sometimes it's also hard, like I would maybe, if I draw with eyes, would like to make it smaller. But if I take a measurement, I see it's a half. So that's what I do, I take kind of half of face yeah, and because this all back part is kind of big. Yeah, and I do some kind of line um, yeah, that, that goes down. Yeah, later I can correct in, in vertical how it's yeah, positioned. And already from the start, if I have defined this line, I take a look, which side is darker, which side is uh, lighter. And just simply, I start like to, to cover, yeah? And as I have different like directions of line, from each direction of line, I just go and cover the space. Yeah? And also from down line, horizontal, I go up, yeah? And like this, I create all these, um, yeah. All right. So, let, but let's keep then. Um, so, of course, the eyes are kind of the nose, the main. So, we should position them. Yeah. So, if we said, okay, this upper line is kind of my forehead. Yeah. Let's. So, sometimes you do also with the feeling. Yeah. You kind of, okay. Uh, and then you can just recheck with the measurement. Yeah. And then because of course, if you already have practice, you probably already can, um, you know, can manage the, the right position, but still sometimes half centimeter up, down. Yeah. So here I erase, for example, I can, if I have darker, I erase to have this white yeah, line where between the eye and, and I kind of mark my eyes, yeah. Um, so, the eye on the left, of course, is much smaller. It's uh, the perspective uh, thing, yeah, because it's three fourths rotation of our. Um, uh. So here now I'm trying to mark all this line of my eyes and nose, trying also to repeat the direction. Yeah. 
And uh, I'm not like sketching at the moment because I try to be sure if that's the right position. Yeah, so. Um, somewhere here, yeah. And then I can see, for example, the eye. So the bigger eye is finished almost where we have sketched this line, yeah, this um, on, on the side, this. Yeah? So then I can correct, either move my line a bit lower or uh, move my eye a bit higher, yeah? something. And um, now let's set the nose. For example, nose is also, is pretty big. I can also measure it with pencil. It's kind of the height of the eye, yeah? So how high you took your eye, yeah, then you choose, okay, where is the nose is starting? Nose is starting almost halfway, yeah, of the small eye. So somewhere I mark this little point, yeah, of the nose on the top and mark lines to the side. And then it's height I can measure also. So depends how big you took your eye. And then I take my pencil, I put it on the circle and then I measure. Yeah, because sometimes we tend to draw smaller some parts. So, um, yeah, and then I kind of finish my shape of my nose. The way it goes, yeah. And um, so now we can check the big distances till, uh, till the end, yeah. Let's say we have already eyes and nose together. So again, I take this measurement and I put it maybe to the end. Yeah, so it's it's almost the same measurement, but the lower part a bit bigger. Yeah, so with these measurements, I arrive like till the end of teeth. And then, um, but then I can do it. I can do like this. And for example, the line I've marked or now it's already too short, yeah? So my school will be probably somewhere here ending. Yes, and then I can again take this measurement from the end and then somewhere here will be my teeth. Yeah, but then it's also, then I have more or less, uh, yeah. It's good also to check where your chain, uh, the chin, sorry, is living like vertically, yeah? So not to move it. So then I just take a look vertically. It reaches kind of the top of the nose, yeah? So then it's also, I take my pencil and just in air, I draw my line down. So actually somewhere here, yeah, will be, um, will be the end, will be this, the, the point of the chin. Yeah, and that's what I try to do. And then I just, like also choose this line for um, for this uh, lower part. And the same I can do, so where it starts turning, yeah? So then it's easier for me to understand yeah, the width, how big is this part? And again, I take vertically the line and I say, aha, it's somewhere like middle crossing this, this dark shadow. So somewhere I take again in air, somewhere here. Yeah, and then somewhere here, I can start going up. Yeah. It's normal when, when you construct and then, yeah, maybe and you manage all oh, too little space. I don't have space for maybe, yeah, it's very typical, not enough space. I also see now maybe it's, yeah, um, maybe I took it, yeah, as I wanted, but then I did my eyes and in the end, all my drawing should be bigger. Yeah, so then I, Either I should make smaller eyes or, but, um, yeah. Yeah. so you can also remeasure with different, yeah, with different techniques, like with different um, techniques, parts, yeah, just to recheck. You measured with one, it gave you one result, but then you can, okay, let's recheck and you can take some other um, measurement and, you know, Okay, then, then for example, this, uh, the, like the part in the back, yeah, it's like the, where the ear is. And again, I take a look horizontally where it lives. 
it lives almost just under the nodes. Yeah? And then again, in air, I kind of draw my line here and I find it and then I can kind of connect. Yeah. So, yeah, then we have already more, more or less than the shape. Yeah, and then I can just, yeah. And um, for example, some lines draw softer. Yeah, if, like the lines you're still not sure, you can not, don't press like too hard with the, with the pencil. It's just like pre-marking, yeah, how it, um, and then when, once you're sure, then you can start All right, so um, so also this part of, of the school is uh, kind of very um, important, yeah? So we try to find also this position. So if I put vertically where it lives, it lives just in this white part, yeah? Between the eye and the shadow. On You're white. The, on the back. Okay, I'm waiting, waiting. Yeah. Uh, so this uh, so this line, yeah, you find it where it lives vertically. Again, so on this on this white part, and you just draw the line in air vertical, and you find it. Aha, uh -huh, it's here. Yeah. So one way you can find it like vertically, and then if you want, you can recheck it with measurement. Yeah. This maybe small part that is left. How many times it fits in in the part in, in front? Yeah. And two, yeah, like two and a half, yeah, more or less. And then I can, yeah, and then this horizontal part. So also with the, with all the lines that are not straight, but they have some inclination, it's um, very handy to check where the line goes out, yeah? So if I take this, this line, it's inclinated, and I can even put my pencil and I see it goes out here where the teeth are, yeah? So this can help me to draw this um, line, yeah? Like to find its direction. And on the other side, it goes a bit over than the ear. So somewhere here. Yeah. And then here is some part. Yeah, and then I erase, so also erasing a lot, yeah, when, when you need it. And here, for example, this little white space, I raise it because it kind of marks the structure. Yeah, there, there is connection with the, with the bones. Yeah, and I can like just mark these little black parts. But also like if I'm sure I can mark it. Yeah, if maybe I feel I will be moving it, yeah, maybe so. This part looks maybe just lower than. In the end, of course, no one will tell you, oh, your school is wrong because you no, know, we say people are different and it doesn't have to be the school that is on the. But if you work like long enough with all these measurements, then you should really get the, the result that is similar. Yeah. For example, also this line that goes from this face corner. And I can also check diagonally. It kind of crosses the eye. Yeah, it crosses here where it ends. So like this in the inner I draw and here I find this direction. Now I feel, for example, this my line is either this one is lower. Yeah, or like I have too much space here. Yes, yeah? so also checking spaces. This is my eye and all this bone I have too big, too fat, yeah. So what I do, I can do both, yeah? I can like kind of elevate this line. Yeah. And I can also, let's say lower a bit my, um, um, so the eye for around the eye, there is also kind of like a, a white line. Yeah, it's like this width. It's also good to, 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 to draw it. Yeah. 
So probably this my shadow should go lower, yeah, somewhere here. Yeah, and then I correct it and then, so it's also like comparing the space. And when you do it, you all try to feel your intuition. Intuition usually kind of like itching, also over, somewhere there is not something wrong, yeah, and then. So at this point, if I say, okay, more or less my structure is correct, yeah, then uh, of course I can um, go and shadow my eyes. Yeah, and again, from all, of course, from all the lines, it's inside. Yes, the eyes are very dark. I take one direction and I go inside and I take another direction of the eye. And I also go inside. So at this point, of course, like soft pencil can be better because like if the pencil is really hard, it's kind of scratching paper and it will be almost impossible to get uh, this card. But if the pencil is 5B, 7B, then... Uh, so keep, keep this little white line around the eyes. Yeah. Um, it's, it's pretty much... Uh, and and the eyes usually we need to draw uh, together. Also, what happens? It's like with your hand, like it happens also with me. Drawing with soft pencil, you kind of um, uh, start making dirty your drawing with 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 the hand itself. Yeah, because you're moving. And it's good to have some paper under your hand and then you can move and yeah, keep then helps to keep the drawing clean. Yeah. And then okay, I'm marking the second eye. Yeah, the second eye it has kind of this all this space that in the start there is more light. Yeah, we see. And so I start like very intense in the start. And, and then I just kind of fade out yeah, to the start. But still it's also it's also dark. So if I take a look at the line, yeah, where the main eye starts here and connected to the nose, I still see that the part of the nose is lighter. So then what I do, I keep on putting color back into the eye. Yeah. So it doesn't work only for really dark and light parts yeah it works for any line you choose which side is darker which side is lighter and you keep and you put yeah also for example if you take a look the nose has also then surface here it is on top yeah and uh, in, in this drawing the light probably was going like really from a side yeah not from the top because this side part of the nose is like really light, yeah? So it means that, but here also good to take lighter pencil, yeah? For all these kind of uh, differences. And then I just kind of mark these differences on top of my yeah, nose, but with lighter, it doesn't have to be very soft, yeah? So, but still it should be because then it marks uh, all these surfaces. Yeah. And so um, we can finish the eye. Now, but of course, we then we come back to the eyes because it's like the main part. And once we go further with drawing, yeah, we come back to the part that should be darker. Yeah, then I can do the nose. The nose also kind of has the right side is firmly um, dark and then it fades out to the left side um, the pencil. Yeah? So. so for example, also, even if you're if you looking on this reference picture, you might see that this part 
and behind the nose, of course, it's light, yeah? but still it will, it will be all in shade. So I also take a light pencil and I kind of just cover it all. Yeah, I keep this um, white line of the, under the eye, but then I, I just cover it. Yeah? So it's all, it's all there. Yeah, and then, so you can do like simple, but if you look more intense and you'll find much more lines and surfaces, yeah? And then you can start working on them. For example, I would see here also some kind of, some lines, probably some school there, and then I can mark it also, which is darker, which is lighter, yeah? The, the, the object itself that you are drawing, it always tells you which, which part is darker, so it's basically always just comparing yeah, the parts. So um, we can move. Okay, let's let's go on the top um, to to the head. It's kind of a bit easier. So there, it's good to have really light pencil. Yeah, not uh, not darken too much. But it's important to mark this uh, forehead, yeah, the difference between all, with all the other space, yeah? And it's kind of where we have marked this line where we have been measuring, yeah? But just direction will be a bit different. There are kind of two directions. So one is a bit diagonal on top and, and you just go marking down, but then you will also see there is kind of the, the eyebrows, yeah, where they live. So also if you did maybe too much, you can also erase. And uh, there is also space, so the dark part of the eye and on top there is also a bit of like, it's lighter, but still dark. Still there is some other surface, yeah, of the shape of the eye that is going. And then you also, um, Lighten up, yeah. Also, for example, these lines can be very light also on, on the top of the school. Yeah, don't really have to mark with the fat line all the shape of the head. Yeah, just leave it more light. Also, maybe somewhere not really drawing the line. Yeah. In general, also, it's good to measure also where this shadow of the forehead goes. Yeah, because it's also usually hard to uh, spot it from the first time, yeah. So the size is actually really big. It's like bigger than the nose, for example, yeah. So it's, in my case, it should be even bigger somewhere here. And it means that probably later I will have to make um, the top of the head a bit bigger, yeah. It's normal, it happens all the time. You think, oh, I took the measurements in the start, but in the end, you always keep on uh, correcting them. Yeah. And then, of course, like sitting back and watching in general on, on the shape also helps. Um, yeah. Then I mark again this. Forehead. And then I can clean out these white parts, but just a little bit, yeah, where. Yeah, so. so here I work lightly, but still I need to create these the shadows, yeah, because if you leave just white paper, then it's not clear what's, what's going on there. Yes. And um, so also, as we said, the light is from the right. So probably this part is very light. And then our uh, school has shape like of, uh, it's, it's of a ball, let's say. So you remember we already did like the drawings, um, different ones, uh, like pear or um, like, meaning that the shadow there goes like in a, in a spheric way. And that's why we also do, yeah? 
to just kind of cover. Um, but again, this this should be even lighter than the color of of the school, yeah, uh, not school, sorry, for for holiday. So if my pencil doesn't manage it's lighter, then I just repeat again a little bit the forehead, yeah, to mark the difference between. Um, Yeah. And then, so in the end, this, the part right of the school, I kind of don't really, yeah, do nothing almost there. I just mark maybe like slightly where it ends. Yeah. So for example, here, I almost don't have a paper, yeah, because I keep on correcting. And then I feel that it should be different shape. And then I say, oh, I almost out of space. Mm -hmm. How it's going, guys? Is it? Um, can you follow up? Uh, Daniel, I sent you mine. Yeah, sure. Send, send. Are oh, you already sent? Okay. Yeah. We're struggling to type it, but I think we made a mistake because we know because we're going to use the uh, oil paint later on. We've actually used the um, paper we use for. Um, the acrylic painting rather than the sketch pad paper. So it's a um, paper, uh, I see. I like you, the surface of uh, of paper. Yeah, it's on paper. Mm. Oh, doing good, Eric. Yeah. Um, okay, you can uh, erase your teeth if you want to follow. Now I will show you the teeth. Okay. Yeah? Um, but the rest is is good. Yeah, you keep the idea of the. Shadow pirates and yeah. all right. So um, the teeth, yes. The idea is not to draw again to draw the fence or to mark each teeth, each each space. Yeah, it's more. So we start more with the with the lines. Yeah, on top of the teeth. Yes. So it's also the way it goes. Like it's it's a bigger part here under the nose, and then it gets smaller, going like diagonally on top. Yeah. So first I find okay, say here my teeth will be living, and then you can also check this diagonal. For example, yeah, you put the pencil, and look, it goes up till till the where your ear is. Yeah. So that's also I can do on my drawing. So it's, yeah, it's somewhere here. Yeah, and then. Like you check the direction, like the upper line is almost horizontal. It's go a little bit down and then later goes a bit up yeah, in the end. But these are the, you know. And then of course you can like mark harder with the, um, like some ma main. So here is one line under the nose. There is like one dark line marked. Yeah, it's kind of this, this middle. Yeah, so it, it's the middle, but of course, in our drawing, we have very little space left on the left side, yeah, because the head is turned. But it's important, yeah, to mark this line here and not somewhere else, because, uh, you know, like this is the middle line of all your, um, yeah, and then the same goes with the teeth. So imagine touch your teeth and your middle line of the teeth, yeah, so this is the one we are drawing, yeah. And this is, these are the big, the biggest ones. Yeah, on, on this case, on the school. Um, and uh, all the rest will be smaller. And yeah, so here on the side, we can see the second one from the other part of the middle. Yeah. So also this, the line, this diagonal line we did, it also has this, this white little line. It's like the, the thickness, yeah, of all this. So it's also good to mark it, yeah. Let's try to mark it more, right, so you see it, yeah. So it's, and there under there will be teeth living, yeah. And then you can kind of just, you mark, you can also like take a look at the drawing and see each, each teeth is different, yeah. It's, it's, um, so, Try also to follow a bit this this rhythm. One is 
more fat, one is more, um, one is longer. The, also, it's good just to follow the shadow. Yeah, there is the shadow a bit bigger, there is small, depends how this separation is. So it's, and in the end, actually, you can just draw these, these shadows between the teeth, yeah, and um, so it's also, I don't draw each line, yeah, because then it's a bit too much. I just uh, kind of mark the feeling where they are and and like from, from artistic point of view, it's, it's better. Of course, if you're drawing this for the biology book, then it's probably better to mark it all correctly. But as artists, it's not very, you know, not very good to do it. So it just kind of, yeah. There's also some shadows on the, like, yeah, if like looking very deep on picture because uh, teeth, they also have shape, they're kind of circled. So also like the, the left part will be a bit in the shade, yeah. Can you mind? Yeah, sure. Send send me how how you're doing with the teeth. Mm, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Mel Darren, also feel free if you're uh, unsure or if you're doing well, then no worries. But feel free to send. All right. Let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, let, let's leave it like this, Eric. I mean, it's, yeah, you corrected also this diagonal line is good. What you can do, you can mark a bit uh, darker in between the teeth, yeah? Because actually, so um, you also like show this separation, yeah? But just mark in between the darkness, because this is kind of what what marks? Um, uh, uh, Jenna, can you yeah? repeat what you said? Because uh, I just joined back because every time when I have to take a picture, it, yeah. it makes me leave the Zoom meeting, so I have to put in everything again. Ah, okay. So uh, yeah, yeah. So what I was telling you that you can mark a little bit this these dark spots in between mm -hmm. the teeth, yeah, in between yeah. some of them because. That's that's how they are because there is behind of them there is just space, but as it inside it's dark so just mark. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, done that. Yeah. I'm really happy with mine. Um, I think your your um, this part under the teeth you have a bit too big. Yeah, this this uh, shadow, dark shadow, exactly. Yeah, and also what happened, your uh, this under the part, it's it's really kind of in front. Then uh, what's in front? Like this all lower part, yeah, of the teeth mm -hmm. under the nose goes more yeah. in front than the head. You have like a kind of diagonal here, but mm. the school kind of goes diagonal inside. Yeah. yeah, you can just either you erase a little bit here in front of the teeth. Yeah, just mm -hmm. and this shadow under the teeth, just erase it, and then just correct with this diagonal going to direction to the to the right. Yeah. Okay. okay. There. Yeah. Next time. And so, Mel if yeah, uh, so if if you have, for example, the school picture, then. Um, like when you look at the part of the chin, you can see a lot of different shadows there. And like the idea is to follow the same idea. You find some line and you decide which direction it goes, like the dark and light part, and you mark. Yeah. So it's just kind of constructing some surfaces. And yeah, sometimes you understand what this surface means why it's changing there sometimes well that's the way the, the object shows yeah, but. and we are also okay. marking darker the left side of 
from the school because it's yeah so both here on the chain and behind the nose i mean it's light but still we mark it darker than um this this part uh, from Jenna. yeah I think I'm done with mine, so is that all right if I uh, leave? Sure, sure, Eric, yeah. no. Because uh, I got some notes from, I don't know who. Yeah, I go ahead. Know. <laughs> it's yeah. summer, no worries at all. I was happy to see you. Okay, yeah. see you next week? Yeah, sure, yeah. Say hi to your mom. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, guys, then... Um, so it depends, you can play a lot also with the details. Yeah, there are a lot of different ones here in, in the front. Let's see, Darren Sinek, yes. Yay, Darren, you're doing well. I think, for example, this line, um, this line here can be a bit more bigger. Yeah, I feel a bit this space. Yeah, uh, it's okay. It also can be different school, but just maybe a bit thicker. This this uh, line behind the teeth. Yeah, but really, really nice already. You even got better, much better than me. This line. Yeah, this one. It's going really thin. Yeah, this bone. Yeah. Cool, yeah, we can move then soon to this, to the oil. Yeah. Mel, let me see how you're doing. Yeah, Darren, I think you're good. You, um, we can, um, yeah, we can move to oil. Yeah, I'm not certainly happy about the nose. I think, I think my nose is a bit too flat. Mm. Oh, here what I explain with the nose, for example, if you just take the um, uh, bit harder pencil and you just kind of cover all with the shadow here, yeah, this white part you have, just cover it mm -hmm. and uh, and also cover so from this middle line under the nose, also just cover lightly this side to the left, yeah, yeah. and it, it will help also. Maybe you're not happy with nose because this white spot is jumping out. Yeah. But um, it happens and then one just kind of um, puts it in the, in the shadow and then it's all good. All right, Mel. Um, so I feel maybe just the line of the forehead, yeah, I can go just a little bit straight and then turning, yeah? So this... this um, just above the black part of the eye, white is good. And then from there you put just vertically the line. And, and then you, yeah, and then it will, it will correct a bit the feeling of, uh, yeah. And then you can do the same with, um, uh, with the chin, for example, yeah. Like it's all good, but just make a little part. So it's really little corrections, yeah, just kind of, Take a more look how this um, border line on the left is going, yeah? And just a little bit, one more line on the left in the chin, yeah? So it's kind of corrects it. Like gives this, give, giving this width, this part, yeah? Uh, the second half, the left, yeah? The rest I feel good, like the size of, uh, is, is, is made good. Maybe also the eye, the, the main eye, yeah, but we can also now correct it with the, um, with oils, yeah? It has to be a bit closer, so, but it can be also just a bit more dark, yeah, on, of pencil, closer to the yeah, nose. Yeah, but paper is horrible. Mm. Oh, sorry guys, yeah. <laughs> That's my fault, it's all my fault. <laughs> yeah, and also Mel, try also to mark this, um, part of the nose, this vertical line. Yeah, it's also a very light line, but at once it will give you the shape, yeah, that like that the nose is there. So this is just like this little vertical stuff on, on top. Yeah, let's see. 
Yeah, Darren also doesn't have it. So like while you're waiting, Darren, you can also take a look yeah, at this. Um, so because imagine also it's, for example, he, this is the line, yeah, that's where the nose and it's kind of ending the nose here. And then it's kind of space behind. We just only see, of course, this line of the eye that is showing up. Yeah. So kind of marking this line on the left harder where the nose kind of ending. And then where the nose is changing. So this surface on top and then surface on the side. Yeah. So this can also. Um, Because, like, it's it's still pretty remarkable. Um, yeah, but nice guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what? Yeah, we're we uh, we have a lot of time. So. As you wish, we can um, take your time to correct a bit more if you want the drawing, yeah, if you feel to. Um, but still, it's it's an exercise, so. Um, and. Okay, I think we're ready to move on to the uh, oils. Yeah, cool. Yeah, sounds amazing. Yeah. So then, um, so for example, so this drawing, this one I did as an experiment in acrylics. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's harder. It leaves more marks. Yeah. So with oils, it's much softer. So I take just um, a, a little some some part of oil, um, just a little, and then what I need. So also, if you have um, napkins next to you, so uh, we're gonna start with the, with the bigger brush. Yeah? In the end, you can use one brush. Uh, it also doesn't have to be so. Yeah? Um, and we have just like take your time to to move your brush inside the paint. So the the idea is to make the brush full of oil. Yeah, but in kind of soft way. So I'm just kind of dipping in the end of my brush and then, so and later I can clean it a bit with the napkin to take off maybe some extra parts. If you have some paper next to you, try how it looks on the paper, but I'm still maybe one, two minutes, yeah, more time, just kind of dipping in my brush and marking it in, in in this oil. So in the end, the brush would leave more just like soft yeah, parts. And with this technique, you start from darkest parts and then to the lightest. Yeah, of course, you also try to save white ones, which are white, but uh, also eraser actually helps. Yeah, later if it's somewhere you, you did it wrong, then all right, let's say, so I did it. I can, I can like clean a bit my, my brush in the napkin. So yeah, cause so it won't leave some like fat black marks. Yeah. And, and that's it. You just choose where, so the darkest, the eyes, the nose. Yeah, these shadows and, um, and you kind of like, if, if there is this hard line, dark line, I'm kind of, sitting my brush there in this line, yeah? And then I can move out, yeah, like fading out. Yeah. And then of course I also follow this shadow so where somewhere is darker. But the whole idea is kind of, you have this fluffy, um, uh, uh, so you can also pushing brush harder gives you harder or also moving your brush lighter. Yeah. And then I'm kind of fading out. Yeah. And I can, when I already feel, yeah, it's 
like my paint is not marking too much, I can move and mark there in the end. Yeah. Another fall. Depends. Yeah. So, it's kind of, um, yeah, you can come back and like kind of a bit refill. Yeah, or if you already filled like enough paint. Yeah, and then again with the eyes, for example, then where where the border is, I can I can also use the um, uh, this card piece of cardboard like we did with these bonsai trees, yeah, that helps to mark. But you understand, guys, yeah, I've lost my piece of cardboard. I had it somewhere. Oh, here it is. So, yeah, I can also, maybe if it's important part, I can place my piece of cardboard and yeah, then just mark. Or not to be so strict and yeah, mark like, yeah, the freestyle of the hand can also work. Yeah, or yeah, I mean, maybe like where the nose is and everything can be handy. How it feels? Does it feel like like um, it works? It paints the. It's it's strange. Strange. Um... <laughs> Certainly see the effect we're trying to get there with the uh, shadows. Yeah, but so yeah, first we do these really dark parts, and then it's more fun because you go like more, you have like less paint on the brush, and you go just more fluffy around, and then already creating these lighter shades. And yeah, but but it's always uh, in this technique, starting with darkest. Yeah, and then you can come back and make them darker in case some other parts you made like even dark. So then you come back. And usually, of course, with the oils you paint uh, using also uh, like lean oil, yeah, you dissolve it. But um, this is more, um, I don't know, to compare maybe like also like chalk, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So also maybe for the nose, yeah, it's, there is very little there. So either you can get in with little brush or, yeah, so all I do now is kind of marking all this Dark parts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. And, and later you kind of keep on like as you did with the with pencil, yeah, with uh, darkest and lighter spots. And already, for example, you have already less paint, yeah, and then you kind of have more control, and you can do the parts with the with the light shadow, yeah. And also like bigger brush strokes also work yeah? because then you mark bigger strokes and then you can come back and correct some parts, but especially for this upper where, where uh, Yeah. So let's let's check, for example, if if I did somewhere wrong. Yeah, you can check with the razor how it works. If it lets you um, clean up. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just being like a bit more careful with with the brush, uh, like making dirty. Yeah, because sometimes maybe there is a bit more paint on some side of the brush, and then it starts kind of leaving darker marks. So it means just like work better on your palette with the brush. You know, kind of even the paint. So for example, this one I did too dark. Let's see if it's, yeah, I mean, with the razor it works, but of course your razor will be pretty much dark. You have to clean it, but it works to to erase, to lighten some, with, with acrylics it doesn't work. Eraser doesn't help, but here, So of course, ideally also, you would say, choose the lightest spot, let's say this, uh, this, this side of the nose, yeah? And the rest would be like any tone darker yeah, than this part. So it's also like some light parts you have, you can still go lightly with your brush, yeah? Um, so just also not to leave too many um, white equal spots. Huh? So let's say we choose maybe our nose and maybe some parts, these white lines of the eyes can be light. Yeah, but once your brush is kind of already painting light, you can go can go over with some Yes, in this case, also sitting back works good. Yeah, to see if somewhere maybe it's too too dark. Yeah, razor works nice to to clean up some parts. Mm -hmm. It also maybe doesn't have to be so all perfectly with the oily. Eh? You can also maybe can be just different style and mark just some important parts with the, with the dark and the rest kind of living almost, you know, halfly unpainted. Mm. Mm. Yeah, for example, this part get too dark on my drawing. Well, if, if something, for example, got too dark, yeah, and you already can't, so it means you just have to work on some surfaces around it, yeah, and then make some other parts also darker, so this difference is, gets more um, even because in the end it's all about the differences between one part and another yeah? so you can also work with the um, uh, background if you want yeah? um, maybe not so necessary but in general yes the same technique comparing you can say oh my background is darker 
then this part of the school, and then you just mark, keep on marking with a. Uh, yeah. Nobody's touched background this week. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, let's say I'll try to mark. It's still my drawing. Also experimental. I can let's say we'll mark here. Almost like a neck or scarf. It's very cool. I like by Van Gogh. He has this school drawing uh, painting. And then he put the cigarette in. Uh, in the teeth. Well, I did kind of some something like a scarf. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah. Well, it's it also depends. Yeah, you try and how you feel with this technique. To my opinion, I really liked it, like for the portraits. It's, I think it, you can, yeah, I can manage. It's also kind of quickly. Let's do the stuff quickly. Also, maybe you know, just to be a bit, be more brave. Yeah, no worries. Especially if you have not much paint. On your brush, then you can move more freely. Yeah, you can mark shadows and then go on top of other spaces. So it's With the teeth, I actually don't do much stuff there. Yeah, it's kind of just maybe just a few points, a few dark points, but also not each of it. Just kind of. I mean, if if once it has the feeling, then it's all right already. Yeah, you can mark, for example, the like make a bit shadowy one part, like the left part of the teeth. If we say, okay, the light is from the right. Yeah, then just to make them maybe a bit more uh, shapey, like sphere. Yeah, but also for example, you can see how the difference is. So even, so I, I was taking this drawing as the base and I did this cool and it looks different, yeah? And yeah. so it, it's like how important to placing all these spots, yeah? So if, if I, I can start correcting and then I can get it more similar, yeah? but it's all in finding the right position for, for spots, especially for some important ones, yeah, where the, like maybe chin is turning, yeah, then at once it has the face more square or more oval. And um, yeah, it just needs time. I mean, needs time in the, not only the practice, but just generally, if, if you do the drawing for, uh, let's say three days, yeah, two hours each day, yeah, then, on the third day, after eight hours, your drawing will be much more, you know, precise and mm -hmm. yeah. So this is, of course, in two hours, this is all just because when, when I did, that's what we did in our art school. We did the drawing, then the class is over. We leave it, then we come back, come back next, uh, yeah, in two three days when the class is, and we take again this drawing, and we continue with it, yeah. So, and then, yeah. So generally it was six, eight hours for drawing and then, okay, move to the next. So it also depends uh, which, what are you telling to yourself? Yeah, how, how elaborative are you gonna do it? Yeah, but for, for two hours, uh, you could, very nice darling, yeah, very. Yeah, you're sending me already, take a look. 
<laughs> yeah, I was talking, talking, you know. Yeah, I'm very excited to see. Hey, Darren. <laughs> oh, and uh, my friend, she's very impressed. Yeah, you see also like Mel and Darren, you can compare like the shape of the school. Yeah, Darren has more vertical line on the left. Yeah, so just to compare the differences, what it makes to all this. Um, yeah. yeah, cool, Darren. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, it's also it just depends how, how your paper is and um, how you feel. So like you did all, all nice, all these dark parts, yeah? But let's see if like you can have like already a little uh, paint on your brush and just go over some parts maybe here, for example, under the nose. Yeah, just it's like imagine it's your light pencil. Right. Yeah, and the same just kind of even even this white school. So just kind of uh, fading out some white parts. Yeah, but of course leave like you have to choose which parts you are leaving white. Yeah, which ones are the lightest? These ones you are definitely have to, to stay, yeah? And the rest you can kind of, so, so it's not so jumpy with the, in, in its lightness, yeah? All right, Mel, let's take a look. <clears throat> yes, so for example, you also got this um, part a bit dark, yeah? In the chin, Mel, yeah? So under the teeth, you have this dark line. So can happen, yeah, it's all, it's all happened to me. So just to correct it, you just have to add here a bit dark also. Yeah, so just kind of um, remove the line. So just next to it, you paint a bit also some shadow. Yeah, darken up and it will make like fade away this straight line. And yeah, so it's, and what also I feel it's a bit, um, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So for example, your eye, uh, so um, the left one, the smaller one, yes, if it works with a razor to correct a little bit this corner, yeah? Because like the eye, it goes up yeah, here. So it's kind of, so it's just this little, this corner, this little triangle to remove and have your eye going a bit, like the dark part going up, yeah? Um, try if it makes, just make it lighter. It doesn't have to be even white there, yeah? But it might correct this general feeling of eye, yeah? Because now it feels it's kind of lost its border and went um, cool guys. Mm. And um, and also we can work a bit more, so you have where the teeth and uh, up, yeah, these lines. So um, just, yeah, like to remove these even lines, we can make again also a bit darker this side on the left. Yeah, so all these kind of left side of the face is all together a bit darker. Yeah, even including the teeth, but also here next, so under the nose, this middle line, and to the left, just make the tone similar like behind the nose, yeah? And then you can also do this. So from the second line, uh, from this middle one, you can do this little circle under the nose, yeah? So kind of connect this line and on top of this circle line. So it will also kind of help break a bit this, this um, straightness of, lines, yeah. So. 
Yeah, but very nice, guys. I'm very. I was very um, excited to see how this lesson goes. You did very, very impressive. Yeah, Darren, you have a really good feeling for um, the size and shape. Yeah, you did very good. The the head part. Yeah, all this upper part because usually people tend to make it smaller. Yeah, in my case also I did smaller and I had to go almost out of my page, make it bigger. Yeah, so um, it's either just the feeling you have or yeah, you measure, I don't know, but very nice. Just the feeling of things, just a... <laughs> Yeah, but that's good. Yeah, that's one yep. should. Uh... Yeah, okay, I see you did the spots in the teeth. Yeah, also maybe try maybe one of them make a bit longer, yeah, just a bit. So just not, they're not too similar, two, four dots, like, but one a bit longer, one, some, just two, two. Oh, nice, yeah, well, it, it looks, yeah, let me compare. Yeah, so you did something well and it looks completely, yeah, looks, looks much better. Mm -hmm. Also, Mel, you can maybe a bit, just a bit thicker this line behind the teeth, yes, this vertical black one. Um, maybe just also just on top of it, a bit more thick, a bit more, um, uh, also maybe better to the right side, yeah, not to the left, to the left leave this white space, but here on, on Just a little bit because now it looks and maybe also yeah, um, looks too straight. Just a bit fat on on top. And if you want, Mel, you can if then your brush is already uh, less paint, you can make it more kind of fade your paint out to the end of the school. Yeah, so you have this black spot, and then you kind of where the school ends, you still, you kind of connect. So not, not this big jump black and white, yeah? Because the, this lower part, yeah, just over here. Yeah, you can also lower a bit also this line, uh, make it a bit straight, the one that goes up, yeah? Kind of shadow, but I think would work good if you make this this line a bit, this one a bit more straight, just somewhere like more horizontal. Yeah, but cool. You're um, uh, getting early ready for the Halloween stuff. Yeah, and then of course you can feel depending you have one brush, yeah. So then if it's maybe some important bigger drawing, then you take smaller brush and work on the details. Yeah, and yeah, it's also you can like put a bit more to, to the forehead now if you want. Yeah, just make it a bit um clear yeah no don't worry i mean it, it won't make it, it worse it's just yeah it, it will mark better maybe the shape but just yeah a little bit just this like this part darker this part above above the white white stuff above the eyes just a little bit mm -hmm. Yeah, next time we should definitely should take something more <laughs> sunny. Mm. Also, tell me guys how you like in summer, you, you want to keep going or, or uh, also vacations because I, I see, of course, Marina. Yeah, so it's you tell me we can do a summer break or. Um... We're, happy, we're happy to keep going. It's uh, oh, nice cool. weekend, so uh... yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Then cool, yeah, because it's winter on my side, so I have no problem to <laughs> to continue. Then good. We're, we're yeah. more than happy to carry on in there. As I keep saying, I'll, I will 
put some more of my photographs on the uh, WhatsApp group as well, so maybe we can use some of those for... Yeah, let, let's do it. Uh, it. It helps me also not to invent something. So yeah, any animal, maybe some animal we haven't done yet. It can be a cat, let's say, you because I see, I've seen you have had cats. Oh, cats, rabbits, uh, so... Uh, squirrels. Squirrels, yeah, I've had some squirrels just lately. <laughs> Oh, let's do squirrels. I, I haven't done, yeah, so done. The topic for the next time is set. I'll, I'll upload a photograph later on Saturday. <laughs> cool, yeah. Yeah, your pictures are amazing, Darren. Uh, I take a look sometimes and... So, I mean, you make a living out of it, don't you? No, uh, it's, it, it's just a hobby. Um, oh, okay. Uh, well, I've, done a few I've done a few weddings uh, for some friends. Yeah. But, um, but it looks professional and... Unfortunately, there's no money in it. That's a problem uh, these days. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that said, uh, for the last few years, I've, I've tended to do a sort of calendar for the family of some of my photographs. Mm -hmm. Last year, I actually did it for my rotary club. I actually did a... I actually sold a number of them. So I, I think I actually sold about 85 calendars last year for charity. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yes, yeah, sp sport events should probably... Yeah, yeah. have it. Uh, but, but, but the uh, village where we live in, uh, they've seen some of my photographs just lately because we've got a community Facebook page and a number of people have said, oh, can you do a counter to raise funds for the uh, village sort of conservation societies? Sure. So, uh, mm. this, year's, this year's calendar will be a, a number charity one, but yeah. I just enjoy doing that, so it's just nice to get out in there. Yeah, the, the most important, have enjoy, have fun with it, so... So, how do you feel about your school? I think I'm finished now. I think I'm done as well, yeah. I'll just sit with my phone again. Yeah, nice smell. I, um, like the improvements you do, the, I feel, you know, like... Nice. Ooh, scary also. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the school of mail is more uh, soft. It's, it's not so like it's more uh, friendly. And Darren <laughs> one is like, oh, don't come close. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay, well, thank you again for today's. Uh, yeah, today. thank you guys. Happy to see you and yeah, enjoy the weekend. I'll and then I'll you. wait. I'll wait for the squirrel then. Yeah, no problem. Cool. I'll say it later on. <laughs> yeah, see you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.